Thank you for calling. This is Don. Hey, Don. Uh, I'm a tenant here, and I have a question. Uh, who is this? Uh, my name is Steve Dave. Okay. And um, I, I just... Where do you live? Apartment 2655. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. So I've been, using, I've been using the satellite dish, um, you know, that's above my apartment. I've been, I hooked it up to my computer. I've been sending signals into space. Mm -hmm. And it seems like it's created sort of a feedback loop. I don't know if you've heard the, the low frequency vibrations at night. You know, when everything's quiet, you can kind of hear it. No, I haven't, but... Okay, well, here's the, the problem. The, the, basically, the sun keeps that from getting out of control, and we're going to have this eclipse coming up, whatever day that is, the 21st. Mm-hmm, that's Monday, I think. Ah, oh, crap. I'm not going to have time to shut it down by, before then. Um, the, the sun's been kind of like a buffer, and I don't know. When that eclipse happens, it's going to get crazy. Uh, right above the apartment complex, there's going to be sonic booms and stuff, like really, really loud noises are you killing kidding me no i'm not killing anyone don't put that anyone kidding in, 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 me isn't okay. <laughs> no no I, i'm okay. absolutely this serious is not a joke no, right no i wouldn't kid around i i've been using i've been doing this for months i've been trying to push a uh, um a russian satellite out of position with um microwaves i've been sending microwaves into space and it's caused a okay. feedback loop the sun acts as a buffer and when the eclipse happens it's going to sound like the end of the world but it's not going to hurt anything it's probably just going to crack crack a few windows maybe that's unbelievable but i have renter's insurance so if anyone's windows gets cracked i'll take care of it i don't want to cause any problems but okay you know, i never heard of such a thing before in my life ah are you a scientist by chance no that's why <laughs> See, yeah, but I definitely watch all kinds of stations, you know. I'm always in the know oh, trying yeah, to learn yeah. stuff. Well, you this know? wouldn't be in the news. This is pretty much cutting-edge technology using okay. microwaves to uh, propel. I, I was trying to knock the, the satellite out of orbit. I thought it'd be funny because, you know, they're the Russians. But yeah. it's created a feedback loop. It's coming straight back toward the complex. Uh, when you're Like, do you live here at the complex? No, I don't. Okay, I was going to say, like, if you know anyone that lives here, tell them, like, when it's really quiet at night, just to listen for those low-frequency hums. That's that's the feedback uh -huh. loop building up until Monday. Wow. Okay, and so on Monday, it's going to knock everything out, huh? Yeah, well, no, no, it's not going to knock anything out. It's just going to make these sonic booms happen repeatedly over the apartment complex. They're going to think, like, okay. aliens are invading or something. But it's nothing like that. Okay. It's just, just normal science stuff. All right. Well, maybe you should tell the police so that they don't. Somebody don't call the police nah, department. Fuck the police. You know. Huh? I said fuck the police. You know. Yeah, but if the people think somebody's shooting out here, they're going to send a bunch of people oh, here. Oh no, no, it's that's not going to be a problem because this isn't going to sound like gunshots. This is going to sound oh. more like the end of the world. Oh, great. Okay. So there, there's going to be no mistaking this. I'm just, maybe you could post some flyers or something, just letting the residents yeah. know, you know, cutting edge. I will talk to my boss about it. Groundbreaking science experiment um, going on Monday during the eclipse. If there's any questions about it, can I have your number? Uh, yeah, yeah, it's on caller ID. Also, the, oh, yeah. the, 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 moon, right. the moon's well, going to have these... thanks for letting me know. I'll talk to my boss about it. All right. The, the moon's going to have these weird wavy things around it, too. It's going to look very strange just from our complex. So maybe you guys okay. can cash in on that. Get some tourism over here. <laughs> I'm serious. I it's going to look weird. I, I know you're serious. I just... Okay. You're going to be able to see sound. You're going to be able to see the sonic booms. Wow. Yeah, yeah, this, the, this apartment complex. I think I'm going to be up here on Monday night. Yeah, you should be. I mean, it's going to be crazy. Okay. I mean. Uh, and you said your name was Steve, right? Yep, Steve Dave. Okay, Steve Davis? Uh, Dave, just Dave. Okay. I prefer the short, short right. version. Okay, I got to go. I got people in the office. All right. Yeah, you got to go take a cigarette break. I get it. Oh, no, I don't smoke. I quit smoking. I can tell. You're sounding good. Oh, I'm so glad I quit smoking. Oh, but, you I'm, know, I have a whole bunch of reverb in this phone. I'm proud of you. Yeah, I hear static no. on my end. 
But you know that that could... yeah, I have everything I say comes back at me. Oh, you know what? That's probably the uh, part of the feedback loop. It's the electromagnetic waves interfering with the phone lines. It'll happen probably, and it'll just kind of stop on Monday after the eclipse. Okay. So the phones will be back to normal by then. Well, so will the internet. Okay. All right. Well, thank you for calling. You're welcome. Uh, have a nice day. You too. Goodbye. Bye. Intruders beware, crushing death and grief, soaked in blood of the trespassing um. thief. While well, I lived in Vanlon Towers, I installed a new rhino in my room. I made it drain into the wall, so my downstairs neighbor was a little pissed. I called the landlord to explain, but the husband was on his way. I was seeing just have a little mold growing in my apartment. Tenant from hell, that's what I want to be. Being a tenant from hell, a tenant from hell, converting him to Airbnb. Being a tenant from hell, I was forced to relocate. Del Prado and Unit 430 When I removed the low bearing wall Gold coins were falling from the ceiling I need my safe deposit box To stash my duplings away Before the chief of main terrain Come up and steal them Tenant from hell That's what I want to be Being a tenant We're having a little problem with mold in our uh, coming through the wall in the bedroom. And where is it coming? Um, it's just kind of underneath the urinal in the bedroom. You are not having a urinal, young man. Uh, I'm a tenant here at Del Prado in 413. Now all these gold coins are falling doubloons. Forbidden room, solve and save riddles to escape, then install a brand new chimney and make a petty floor. A tenant from hell, that's what I want to be. Being a tenant from hell, a tenant from hell, converting into heavy and being a tenant. Beagle Dude for that intro. Hey everyone, I'm Brad. You're listening to the Snowplow Show. Man, Beagle Dude sounds a lot different than I thought he would. Anyway, this is episode 525. It's brought to you by the Swedish models Brian W., Thunor, Buster Casey, and Todd Little. Those are the sponsors of today's show. That's five of the many people supporting us over at patreon.com slash phone losers. Not only do they get to be the sponsors, they get to be responsible for everything that goes wrong on today's show. Thanks, I appreciate that. Also, thank you to the new people who've signed up recently, like David S. and Kindle, Matthew E. and Garrett S. Supporting the show gets you extra shows almost every week. It's completely worth it. I don't really have any announcements for today's intro. I think we're just going to get right into the show. I mean, you know, Euromeet 2019, all that, blah, blah, blah. Just look in the previous show's show notes for the link to all that. I'm so bored. There's nothing to do. Tell me about it. Hey, I know. Let's crank call people in the past. Huh? I just got the Crank Prank Time Phone. Crank Prank, Crank Prank Time Phone. New from Zasbro, it's Crank Prank Time Phone. I just dial a random number on the keypad, enter a date and year on the developerator, and... Wow! Someone from the past is on the line. Hello. Is your refrigerator running? 
Well, then you better go catch it. <laughs> crank, 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 time phone. What? Uh, hi. It's the year 1973, right? Could I speak with alcoholic, please? <laughs> comes with the Vilibrator, Anti-Matter Fusion Cone, and 30 Blaine HF Watt Triggers. Warning, Crank Break Time Phone is for entertainment purposes only. Making anything other than Crank Calls to the past could affect the present and in your existence. Crank Break Time Phone is not intended for use by autos. There was an idea left in my voicemails, uh, maybe in the last show, or the show before, or something, by Not Not Brad. He says to tell the landlords I can't get my Christmas tree to flush down the toilet, which really, that's Nick Caesar's idea, because he drew a picture of a Christmas tree in a toilet, which I need to make that today's show art, but that seems like a lot of fun. I bet you landlords would hate if I tried to flush my Christmas tree down the toilet. Let's give that a try. Thank you for calling Woods Apartments. This is Jamie. Hey, Jamie, I'm a a tenant here. I just have a question. Okay. Um, I've been trying to flush the Christmas tree down the toilet. You know, chopped it up into smaller pieces and been trying to flush it. And it's going down fine for a while, but now it's just kind of like the toilets. It's not flushing. The the water just kind of goes over the edge. You know? Um, I'm sorry. Are, Are you joking? No. No, why would I joke? You, you chopped up your Christmas tree and you're trying to flush it down the toilet? Yeah, yeah, just into small pieces, you know. It's, it's not... Okay, which apartment are you in? Uh, B3. I'm sorry, B is in Bravo 3? Yep, that's it. Are you sure you called the right office? Yeah, yeah, 300 <laughs> drives where I live. What? What's the problem? Uh... May I put you on hold really quick? Okay. Thank you. Maybe I accidentally gave her own apartment number. I'm not sure what's going on. But, but yeah, let me try and flush. Okay, so, uh... Oh, hold, hold on. I'm, I'm, I'm afraid that there is some sort of confusion because there is no way that you live in apartment Bravo 3. Why do you say that? Hold on, I'm flushing. But it's, oh, there it goes. Over the edge again. Um... Yeah, why do you say I don't live in B3? I live with the uh, Ab- 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 Abodos. I'm sorry, you live with who? Well, I, I'm, I'm just a roommate. I just sleep on the couch here. And who is it that you live with? Uh, it's the, the Abodos. Like, what, what's the problem? You, you seem, like, really taken aback that I'm just... I just called to ask a question, that's all. Well, I, I'm a little taken aback to start with that somebody would flush Christmas tree down the toilet, but we can move past that. I'm more concerned by the apartment that you state you're living in. Um, can you spell the name of the person you live with? Uh, A-B-O-U-D-O-U. Okay, let me just... Uh... Why? Don't you have it there in the computer? Well, that's what I'm looking up right now. Oh, well, you don't even have it pulled up yet? Like, So how do you know I don't live there? Well, sir, you just gave me the name just now, so that's why I was able to just now pull it up. Okay, well... I, uh, you would you saying, mind giving you were, me your you were, name? You were saying I didn't even live there, so it seems like you would have known already. You're not very good at your job. Well, well sir, I can tell you that um, this phone call is really not appropriate. You do not live in the place that you've stated you live. You I do, do not too. live with the person you've stated you live with. I do so. I, live, I stay on the couch. I'm, I'm a roommate. I pay rent to them. I'm subletting. Okay, well, in that case, there really is a problem because that is not allowed. Um, I suggest that if this is accurate and there's some sort of confusion and you're staying on somebody's couch, that you come down to our office immediately so we can get this cleared up. No, I signed a rental agreement with them, so I don't have to talk to you guys. Um, Actually, you do because that's not legal per their lease, so you're actually occupying the unit illegally if that's the case. Oh, you don't even know what you're talking about because I, like, I have the... Okay, have a good day, sir. (laughs) Ma'am. All right. Not going well so far, but let's try the next one. I think I may have picked too small of a city here, but here's a bigger building. This one should work out better. They won't know everyone in this building. Hello? Hello. How are you? I'm good. That's good. What you doing? Who is this? Uh, This is Roy. I'm a tenant here at the (laughs) apartments. Roy? Yeah. Uh, what apartment are you in? I'm in B, B2. 
Roy, you're not a tenant with us. What do you mean? In B2? Yeah, I, I'm, I'm stay with, uh, with Miss Jones. With who? Miss Jones. I don't have a Miss Jones. Well, I, that's what she told me your name is. In B2? Yeah. I know who lives in B2, and it's not a Miss Jones. Oh, who is it? It, I'm not going to tell you. I can't do that. That's a privacy issue. Oh, I don't know. Most anyway, do. w- what you calling me for? Uh, I've been flushing my Christmas tree down the toilet, and are you serious? Yeah, well, I- I'll ha- have a good day, sir. No, don't bother me no, again, I'm, ma'am. I'm serious. I I chopped it up into pieces. I didn't do it all at once. I'm not stupid, <laughs> ma'am. So, so it, yeah, it's, it, you know, I just, you know, breaking it up into pieces and flushing it down the toilet so we don't have to, you know, carry it, carry it down there outside. Ma'am? I'm here. Oh, okay. Well, I, I was just calling about a problem. It's like I, I flush the toilet and it overflows now. I wonder why. Seriously? I broke it up into small pieces. It shouldn't be a problem. You do not flush a Christmas tree. Give me a break. That, that's what we did what last year. What apartment are you in, sir? We did that last year, and it worked just fine. Sir, what apartment are you in? I, I already told you I'm in B5. No, you just said B2. No, I, I said B5. I, I, no, you didn't. You said B2. I said, I know who lives in B2, and it's not that person. And B5 is not that person also. What person? I, I live with Mr. Clabo. <laughs> okay. That's the end of that one. I'm looking on 411.com. That's the names that are on these things. I wonder if I got the name right on B5. Thank you for choosing Park. This is Cheryl. How may I help you? Hey, Cheryl. Uh, I'm a tenant here, and I just have a p- small problem. <laughs> what? What are you laughing about? What's your problem? Why, why, would you, why, do, why are you laughing at me? I'm not laughing at you. It sounds like you are. I'm not. All right, I've been flushing. My, I've tried to flush my, Chris, my Christmas tree down the toilet, and it's stopped up now. <laughs> Kevin. Kevin? I'm not Kevin. Can, can I get your apartment number? Yeah, well, what, like, are you laughing again? <laughs> no, I'm not. It sounds like you are. Like, I'm having a serious problem. I'm, I'm sorry. It's, like, I chopped up my Christmas tree into pieces. I've been flushing the pieces down the toilet. It's not like it's the whole thing. Okay. So how, you know? shall, I, how shall we help you? I don't know. Like, like, it's, like see, look, I, I'm, I'm going to flush it. Flushing, and then the water goes up, and it, it comes up over the edge, out on the floor. See? See, look. I don't know how to make it okay, stop. Okay, what's your apartment number? Uh, B6. Which, what is it? A 206. 206? Yeah. Okay, we don't have a 206 here. Oh, just 6 then. No 6. B6? I know there's a 6 in it. No 6. You don't have any apartments that have a 6 in them? No. Oh, is it B then? Like letter B? We have plenty of Bs. Okay, just B. B what? 16? No, B16. You're not laughing again, are you? Ma'am? No, I'm not laughing. I can hear you laughing. This is no laughing matter. This this not laughing. So why are you laughing? No reason. <laughs> How come you laughed like the very first thing I said when, when I called? 
Because it wasn't that funny. It was just, I'm just like, I have a problem. Yeah, you have a problem. Yeah, but why'd you laugh? You caught me in the middle of something. What was it? Uh, anyway. What were you doing? Were you doing it? How can I help you? Well, I guess you can. Like, you don't even believe that I live here. Well, no, because you don't have an apartment number. Okay, I'll, I'll just, I'll, I don't know, I'll pour a bunch of Drano down there and see what happens, I guess. That won't work. Uh, we'll see. Like, you, how would you know? You're a woman. Okay. And what does that have to do with anything? Well, you get, you know, you women, you don't know plumbing. I would, okay. Anyway, okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna just flush it a bunch and maybe eventually it'll go down. Maybe it'll eventually go down. I hope so. And she hung up on me. I think I offended her with the woman comment. Why is she getting all offended? And what was up with the laughing? Like at the very beginning, what was that about? Like they're smoking marijuanas in the office or something. So 411 didn't have any apartment numbers on that one. That's why I didn't have a number to give her. I was just guessing. Thank you for calling. Core, how can I help you? Hello, uh, I'm a tenant here. I just have a question. Okay. Um, I, I've been um, trying to flush our Christmas tree down the toilet since Christmas is over, well, and I... the toilet's kind of clogged up now. Okay. Um, what unit are you in? Uh, number 30. Roberts. Number Yep. Oh, you must, you must have the wrong property. Why? Because I live in 30. I didn't say 30. I said 37. Oh, 37. Let me see. 37. Oh, is this Michael? Yep, that's me. All right. Do um, you guys have a plunger? Um, well, there, there's a lot of Christmas tree parts in the toilet, and it's making the plunger not not really work that well. But I was hoping. Oh, you mean you're literally flushing a Christmas tree down a toilet? Yeah, yeah. I, well, I cut it up. I snapped it up into a bunch of pieces, and I've been trying to flush all the pieces down. And now, like here, like flush the toilet. And yeah, yeah, the water's coming up. It's just gonna go over the edge again, all over the floor. There, there it goes. Dang, I've never heard of anyone doing that. Yeah. Well, the only I, thing that's what's good at your toilet is poop and toilet paper. Yeah, MP. Yeah, <laughs> um, but no, I I put trash down the toilet all the time because it saves on trash bags, and I just didn't wow, want. Wow, yeah, I didn't want to take the Christmas. Don't do that anymore, please. Oh, yeah, no. that that could really mess up our system. No, I've always done this. It, like you know, I just didn't want to take the tree outside. Like load, you know, it's heavy. And oh, yeah, over the weekend, I I actually pulled the toilet up off of the floor, and I uh -huh. I. Um, I put the stump of the tree down into the hole in the floor and then put the toilet back the on top stump? of it. Oh, my God. You, oh, let me come up there and check it out, man. Like, uh, but I think, I, this is like I think, by far, I've never, ever, ever heard of anyone doing that. Okay. Well, um, you think that's depending why on what you put down it, like I don't even know if we could fix that without tearing out walls. Oh, no. It, it's just the stump. That's all. It's like... Uh, it's not in the wall. It's in the hole in the floor. So I, I just shoved because, okay. like, the stump pieces wouldn't fit down the toilet. The, the hole in the toilet's too small. So I removed the toilet and just took all the pieces of stump and put those down into the hole. And then I poured a bucket okay. of water down the hole, to, you know, to simulate flushing. But now, yeah. now I'm trying to flush the rest of it, like all the branches and stuff, and those won't flush. Yeah. See, look, like, I'm going to flush it. It's probably going to go all over the floor again. Just watch. Yeah, yep, yeah, yeah. Yep. I mean, yeah. Here, um, here it comes. Oh, there it goes. Oh. Unfortunately, oh, yeah, you're going to have to clean that up. Um, Why put towels You might down? have to pay for the plumber. Um, no. So let me come and check it out. No, I don't um, have to pay for it. That's why, yeah, I, let me, that's, that's why I rent, so I don't have to pay for anything. Uh, technically, no. Um, but let me just check it out so I can see what you're talking about. Um, and see what we can figure out, and then if we need to call a plumber. Do you think it's because uh, we'll I, I left Christmas ornaments on the branches? 
is this a prank a prank call? Like I, I don't know. No. Let me come up there and check it out, man. You're gonna come up right now. Yeah, if that's okay. Yeah, I guess. Do I have to put on pants? This can't be a real call. No, I'm, uh, no, I'm, I'm, I'm for real. This is Michael. Okay. Uh, I'll see you in a minute. <sighs> All right. Okay. Bye. Sounds great. Bye. All right. Bye. That's uh, going to be an interesting conversation he has with Michael. Thank you for calling. Me. This is Jerry. How can I help you? Hi, uh, this is Roy. I'm a tenant here. Yes. And um, I just have a small problem. I was trying to flush my Christmas tree down the toilet, and now the toilet's, I don't know, it seems to, like, it, it won't flush properly. Uh, why would you flush a Christmas tree down the toilet? Um, because Christmas is over. I'm not like a hobo that keeps my tree up all year. But you wouldn't flush it down the toilet. Yeah, I would. I did it last year. It worked fine. You would throw it away. Yeah, well, no, I didn't want to take it all the way out. It's, like, heavy. It's hard to get out the door. So, anyway, like, you're, we're getting off track here. Like, the, I don't know, I was just trying to flush it down the toilet. And it, I, I don't know, the toilet, like, when I flush it, it, it starts to flush okay, and then the water goes the wrong way. It goes up, and, yep, here it comes. It's, it's going to go over the edge. All over the floor. Oh, where do you stay at? I'm in twelve one oh two. We don't have a one oh two. Oh, is it? I don't know. I'm in twelve though. You know, in the first building. Are you in building twelve? What's the apartment number? Uh, one oh two. I think you're in a different, like a different. Yeah, I live at one Z Pike. What's your last name, Roy? Zerbel. Could you spell it, please? Uh-huh. G-H-A-R-L. So do you know how to get the toilet G to flush properly then? Okay, I don't have you as a resident here. Uh, yeah, I wouldn't be in the computer. I just sleep on the couch. I don't need anyone to come over <laughs> or anything. Okay. Um, <laughs> am I being pranked or something? No, why? Why would you ask that? Um, because you said you flushed a Christmas tree down the toilet. Well, not in one piece. You don't know I, where you stay at. I cut it up. I cut it up into pieces. Who am I speaking I'm to, not, and why are you playing with me? I'm not stupid. It's Roy. I I live here. I don't. I'm not. It's not a joke. Um. Okay, so you. I don't have you in our system as staying here. Yeah, I just, I pay my rent to, to Gary. To Gary who? Yeah, he's, he's the, I mean, he's my landlord. I just worked it out with him who personally. Who is Gary? Uh, he's, he's the, he's my, he lives in the bedroom. Okay, I'm confused on what you need from me then. Let's, I, let's, let's just do that, Rory. Well, I don't know. I like, I'm trying to flush the toilet and the, the water won't go down. It keeps coming up. Okay, it, if the water won't go down, you need to put, we need to put a work order in, but I can't put a work order in well, I just and have you, someone come to take a look at it without knowing where you reside. I just thought you might have advice on how to get it to go, like, because when I flush it. I don't have it, I, I, I don't, because I'm not a maintenance guy. I'm flushing it, and, <laughs> and the water just goes over the edge. See, it's going on the floor. <laughs> so, so, you're, so it's going all over the floor, so we would need maintenance to come. Who am I speaking to? I've told you several times it's Roy. But Roy, I, I, <laughs> I <can't>, <laughs> why do you keep flushing it? <laughs> well, if I keep doing it, it'll eventually go down. No, it will not. It's gonna keep overflowing. Oh yeah, it's going on the floor again. God. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So who am I speaking with? Uh, I've already told you several times. This is Roy. Okay, Rory, I need to know where you're where you stay right, at just, in order so I can send somebody someone there. Just forget it. I'm just gonna I'll plunge it myself or something. I don't know. I'll figure it out. I'm I'm sorry to bother you. I just I don't know. I just gotta figure out this tree thing before Gary gets home. Who is what's Gary's last name? I don't know. I pay him cash, so I don't have to write him checks or anything. 
Okay, but you you stay in building twelve. I think so. Yeah. One hundred two. But you don't know that there's not a one hundred two. Yeah, yeah, there's I don't know. There's a one hundred one. Yeah, that's and it. And there's a one hundred three. Oh yeah, one hundred three. Which one hundred one or one hundred three? One hundred three. Well, you're not in one hundred three. Because mm -hmm. I know who stays there, so that's not you. Oh, uh, must be one hundred one then. Oh, uh, it's going. It's coming up again. And that's that's not you either. I know who stays there. Yeah, well, there's so se what several I'm gonna people do, that live here. I'm sorry? There's several people that live here. There's, like, one on the couch and one on the floor. Are you in a one-bedroom or a two-bedroom? I don't know. I'm not allowed in those rooms. <laughs> okay, can we stop? Can we? Can we? Okay, I understand this is a joke. No, it's not. It is what? a joke. Then why are we talking? It is like, a joke. Just forget it. It is a joke. I'm, I'm but hanging I would, up. I would love to know who is pulling, who's playing this joke on me. I'm not playing a joke. I would I'm, love to know okay, because I think it is hilarious. It's not hilarious. I, I got to look. So I got to go. you keep flushing I, the toilet. The water is everywhere. It is all over your feet. You're what? Uh, no, no. I, I, I'm standing in the bathtub. <laughs> <laughs> Because it started overflowing and got everywhere, so you hopped in the tub. Look, I gotta go. Okay, I'm, I'm hanging up. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> that one was going nowhere. And the apartment numbers are all weird at this place. It says right here on 411.com, there's a 12102. How can there be a 103 and a 101, but there's no 102? What happened to 102? Good afternoon. What's this? Is Amy May I help? Hey, Amy, I'm a tenant here. I'm just having a small problem. Okay, what can I help you with? Um, it, I, I'm, I was trying to flush my Christmas tree down the toilet, and now the toilet's not you flushed. You were trying to do what? I'm sorry. Uh, flush the Christmas tree down the toilet. What do you mean, flush the Christmas tree down the toilet? Um, well, you know, Christmas is over, so I, I was just I, I was chopping it up into pieces and flushing the pieces down the toilet from the Christmas tree. You can't do that. Oh, no, I, I do it all the time. I did it last year. It works just fine. Right. You can't do that. That'll clog up our drains. Is that why it's not flushing? Because, like, I'm flushing it right now, and it, it starts to flush. Yeah, you'll cause a backup. Yeah, well, yeah. Yeah, think, you can't do that's, that. That's what, oh, yeah, here it comes. It's going to go over the edge. It's, it's overflowing. It's going on the what floor. What unit are you in? Um, I'm in uh, G, G, G8. What what apartment number? Uh, G, what building? G8. I'm in 5363, G8. There is no G8. Oh, is it G12 then? Or just, just 8? There is no G12. Just 8? Just number 8? We don't have units number 8. Well, how are they labeled? Well, well who is this? Uh, my name is Christopher. Christopher, what's your last name? Uh, it's a B A T. So you're saying we can't? We don't have anybody by that last name. You're saying that we can't flush our Christmas trees down the toilet? No, I'm telling you, you cannot. Okay, well that's what I've I always flush just random trash down the toilet because it saves money. Well, you've got dumpsters. I know, but then it's a long walk to the dumpster. Like I can just go to the, ma'am. Are you still there? Well, what a smart ass. Tells me I have dumpsters and just hangs up on me. Whatever. Thank you for calling departments. This is Cassie. Can I help you? Hey, uh, I'm a tenant here. Um, I'm just having a problem. I, I was trying to flush my Christmas tree down the toilet. And I'm sorry? I was trying to flush my Christmas tree down the toilet, and now the, the toilet won't flush properly. You were trying to... To flush a Christmas tree down the toilet? Yes, ma'am. And, um, like, I, I got most of it, but it, it's like now the toilet won't flush properly. When I flush it, it the water goes up on the floor. Okay, give me just a second. Okay. May I ask who's calling? Sure, my name's Roy. Okay, and 
I, okay, I, I'm going to just back completely up because I am completely confused. Wh what kind of Christmas tree are you trying to flush down the toilet? Um, well, it's a real tree. You know, it's not fake or anything. It's just a, it's like a pine tree. And I, I guess I'm confused why you would flush a tree down the toilet. Because Christmas is over. But like, look, I, I like when I flush it, I'm going to hit the flush button. Yeah, yeah, it's... It, it starts to flush okay, and then it, it backs up, and it, oh, here it comes. It's it's going to go over the edge on the floor, like the water. Well, yeah, but you're not supposed to flush a Christmas tree down the down the toilet. Yeah, well, I just, I didn't want to mess with taking it out the door. It's, like, hard to get out and everything. What's your name? Roy. Hold on. Flush it again. And what's your apartment number, Roy? Oh, yeah, it's getting ready to come up again. It's going to go on the floor, like the water keeps going on the floor. What's your apartment number, Roy? Uh, six. Uh, like your full, what's your address? Oh, it's one, oh, I'm, I'm at apartments. Mm-hmm. So 106? That's not a number here. Oh, is it just six then? What's your building number? Oh, 537. All right, and Roy, what's the best phone number for you? Uh, four two zero six nine six nine. All righty, let so, me give my uh, maintenance guy a call real quick. Well, do you have any advice on how to get this to work better? Like, um, no, think, don't flush a don't flush a Christmas tree down the toilet. Like, try flushing it again. You think? No, I, like, like absolutely, don't flush it down the toilet. Like that's causing but, it to clog. But I mean, if I keep flushing, it seems like eventually it would go. Like, I mean, not if it's already clogged. Well, no, if, if it's clogged, like if I keep flushing it, the pressure should make, make it go down, right? No. Oh, it's getting ready to overflow again. It's, gonna, oh, it's going on the floor. I will Is let I, them know that I've instructed you to stop doing that, and I will call them right now and see if I can get them over there. Okay, well, I tried taking most of the tree pieces out of the toilet. All right, but, let, me, let me give them a call real quick. But I think some of them are down in the drain, because look, when I, when I flush, like I'm going to flush the toilet. Please thing. stop doing that, though, is what I'm saying. Don't do that any longer. It's just going to make it flood more. Well, I'm not putting more pieces down. Oh, it's here it comes. It's overflowing. All right, I'm going to end the call now, and I'm going to call the maintenance guy and have them come directly over there, okay? Oh, no, they don't need to come over. I'm, I'm busy. I don't, I'm, like, I'm not prepared to have any Well, if company. you're flooding the bathroom, though, it's no yeah. longer, it, it's not going to be an option. No, I put towels down, so it's not actually flooding the bathroom. I'm, I'm just, I'm, I was hoping you might have advice because I'm just flushing over yes, and over. Yes, my advice, I do have advice. Don't put the Christmas tree parts in the toilet. Okay, well, I'm, I'm not putting any new parts in the toilet. I'm just trying to flush the ones that are already in there. Alrighty, I'm going to hop off here and give the owner of the property a call too and just advise him of the situation and then I'll follow up tomorrow. Oh, can you three-way him on with me? Like, I'll, I'll talk to I the cannot, owner. I cannot. Why not? But I am going to end the call now, can okay? I, can I have his number? Nope, I'm going to give him a call right now. Why can't I have his number? Because I don't give out the owner's number. Why not? I'm not going to do anything with it. All right. I'm ending the phone call now, okay? I'm just going to call him. Okay. Thank you. Can you ask Bye. him to call me? It's not a very helpful lady. Thank you for calling. Property sound. May I help you today? Hi. I'm a tenant here at <laughs> Apartments. Uh-huh. And I'm just having a problem with the, the Christmas tree. Like I was trying to flush the Christmas tree down the toilet. And now the toilet won't flush. I'm sorry, you tried to flush a Christmas tree down the toilet? Yes. Okay, that's why your toilet's clogged up, because you're not supposed to flush a Christmas tree down the toilet. No, I, I do this all the time. I did it last year. It works just fine. I just I cut it up into pieces. You know, I just do a little bit at a time. And, like, okay. for, the, for the trunk of it, I, I took the toilet up off of the floor, and I put the trunk down into the hole on the floor and flushed it that okay. way. Okay. What apartment are you in? Uh, I'm in uh, 411. Okay, so you're, you're, telling, you're telling me that you do this every year? You take the toilet up and put the trunk down the toilet? Oh, look at that. I'm on speakerphone. Yeah, yeah, I just, it's not a big deal. I know how to do plumbing. But yeah, I just pulled the toilet up because the stump won't go in the toilet. It, you know, the, the hole's too small. You know, but this has got to be a joke. Are you, are you, okay, what, you said 411, though. Yeah, yep. 
But yeah, I was just wondering because I'm trying to flush the toilet right now, like you know, flushing it, and it, it doesn't flush properly. Like the water comes back up and it goes on the floor. See, like it's oh, there it comes. Hey, what's your name? Because you're not coming up under four eleven. Uh, Floyd. What? It's hard to hear no, you I'm... on the speakerphone. How come we're on speakerphone? My boss wanted to, to hear what I was talking about. Oh, okay. Yeah, I just, I, I, I flush trash down the toilet all the time. It works just fine. <laughs> Somebody's Somebody pulling in. my leg. Somebody's pulling you. Okay, because I don't have you at 411 and I don't have a Floyd in my system. Okay, I'm not kidding. I, I just... I was just hoping for advice on how to fix the situation here. Well, I have to send I have to send my maintenance crew over there, so I'm trying uh, no, to figure out no. what. Don't don't send the maintenance guy. Like he doesn't like me. Okay, that's the only way I can get this fixed because I don't know how. I, I'm not a plumber. I don't know what to tell you. Okay, well, never mind. It's okay. I I I know a thing or two about plumbing. I'll just figure it out myself. I'd really rather send my maintenance guy over there. Uh, no. I have three of them. So which one doesn't like you? I can send one of the other ones. No, thank you. The one that's a jerk. The one that's grouchy all the time. Okay, I've got three of them, so I don't know if you mean Greg, Michael, or Jeff. Uh, hell if I know. I don't, you know, they're just maintenance people. I don't bother memorizing their names. But, um, no, it's fine. I'll figure it out. Maybe I just need to take the toilet up off the floor again and pull the stump out, the stump okay. pieces. Yeah, I, like I said, I'd really rather send one of my maintenance guys over there. We're going to send a maintenance. So can, I need to know what apartment you're in. Can you tell the lady in the background to shut the fuck up? Um, that is the property manager, and I will not use that language with her. Well, so you, you know, either need to give me the correct apartment number. No, I'm just saying you're on the phone, and, and she's back there, like, talking and being very rude. Okay. What apartment number are you in? Uh, 411. Okay. You can't be in... Do you have a roommate over at 411? Because you're not in 411. No, I, I wouldn't be in the computer. I, I sleep on the couch here. Okay. Who's the one on the lease over there? Can she hear me still? Because I noticed she, no. she she did shut the fuck up. Okay, I'm not going to have you talk to me like that, but I need to find out what apartment you're in. No, so I, whose apartment are you staying in? I wasn't talking to you like that. I was directing that at that that annoying lady in the background that would. Okay, you're shut still not going to talk to you're not going to talk to my boss like that either. He asked if he would shut the f up because he could hear you in the background. Whose couch are you sleeping on? Jerry's. I, Jerry. Yeah, Jerry. But I don't know if he's the one that actually lives in the bedroom. He just sleeps on the floor. Okay, I seriously need to find out who, what apartment you're in, and so I can send somebody over there. It's like, oh, can you tell him to shut the, tell her to shut the fuck up? No, and I'm about She's, to hang up on you because I'm figuring you're just trying to pull my chain. No, I'm not. It's like an Airbnb thing. Um, I, I, I found this place through Airbnb. There's no but, way you found this place through Airbnb. No, he has it set up. Like, his apartment is split up into separate units. And I think uh, it belongs to Jerry. Are you at apartments on F***ing Avenue? Yeah, yep, that's the one. Mm, no, I don't have anybody named Jerry, and I don't do Airbnbs over there. Well, maybe Jerry's subletting. But it's not you doing the Airbnbs, it's Jerry. Okay, I need you to open the front door and tell me which apartment you're in so I can send Jeff over there. Uh, the front door won't open right now. Did I get hung up on twice? How did that happen? Thank you for choosing point. This is Cindy. How can I help you? Hey, Cindy. I'm trying to flush my Christmas tree down the toilet. and That doesn't work. Yes, it does. I did it last year. Okie dokie. But, um, yeah, it's like the toilet's clogged up now. I can't get the toilet to, toilet to flush properly. Okay, and you are located... Am I supposed to finish your sentence? Yes, you are. Oh, why don't well, you, I mean, why you just ask a straightforward... You can tell me all day that your toilet is stopped up, and I can, I can listen, but I, don't, I wouldn't know where to send that person to unclog it. Oh, yeah, why don't you just ask me where I live instead of, like, playing that weird little game with me where I have to complete your sentence. Okay, well then, uh, may I have your address, please? Sure, it's 933. But yeah, like, do you know what? Is that all you need? 
Well, do you know what to do about the toilet thing? Because I'm trying to flush the toilet. Well, to no, I'm not maintenance. So I'll send maintenance up to number four to see what he can do with the toilet. But uh, no, I don't need maintenance up here, really. Uh, that's always a hassle. I, I was just hoping you might have some advice because I'm, I'm trying to just, like I chopped the tree up into pieces and it should go, in, it should go down just fine. All right. Well, I want to let you know you have a good day and you can give a call back tomorrow to talk to Miss Sarah if you need any further instructions. Why can't you help? Because I am not no part of any instructions. Yeah, but listen, like, I'm going to, see, I'm flushing the toilet. And, and oh, she hung up. But, but look, you guys, look, it's, it's going to go all over the floor. I hate when that happens. Thank you for calling Square. This is Robin. Hey, Robin. Um, I'm trying to flush my Christmas tree down the toilet. I'm a tenant here, and yeah. it won't go down properly. Like, uh, it's I'm, I'm having problems getting that to work. What do you mean? I'm flushing my Christmas tree down the toilet because Christmas is Why over. Why would you be doing that? Because Christmas is over. Well, you take it to a proper location to get rid of it. Yeah, that's you're not permitted. You're not permitted to have live Christmas trees anyways in the apartment. Oh, I, uh, the, I think I know why now, because, like, oh, my gosh, like, pine needles everywhere. It's, like, embedded in the carpet. I am not going to break that rule again. But, yeah, I'm trying to... What can I do for you? Well, I'm trying to flush the Christmas tree down the toilet, and... Who's calling? Roy. Roy, what's your last name? Zerbel. So I got like maybe half of it. What apartment total. are you in? Um, one o two. Apartment. Yep. No, one o two apartment. Oh, three. But do do you know what to do about that? Like, um, no, I don't know what to do about it. I'm trying it. to like look. I'm gonna flush it. I'm flushing the toilet, and yeah, it starts to go up the rock. Hello. Ma'am? All right, the phone's ringing, I guess. Did I just get transferred? Carol, can I help you? Oh, hey there. I'm a tenant here. I was just trying to uh, flush my Christmas tree down the toilet. And, yeah? Um, I can't seem to get it to flush. The toilet won't flush properly now. Well, who am I speaking to? Roy. I already told that other lady, Robin, this. Okay. Roy, I don't, where do you live, Roy? Um, the square apartments. But yeah, right, I got, what apartment? I got maybe half of it to flush. And, what apartment, Roy? Uh, 102. That's the building, what apartment? Okay, geez, like, wow, attitude. Well, I'm uh, trying to figure out, what do you mean you're trying to flush a Christmas tree? Because Christmas is over, so I'm, I was flushing the tree down the toilet. So, so you put a Christmas tree in your toilet? Well, I chopped it up for, you know, I'm putting it in pieces. Oh, well, you, you that's going to cost you. <laughs> yeah, no, no, it's it's like... Yeah, it is, because you know, you don't put Christmas trees down toilets. Well, not, not a full tree, that's ridiculous, but I chopped it up into pieces, and I've been flushing the pieces. I always But you don't flush uh, anything down the toilet except poop pee in a toilet paper oh no i flush every like i like um i rip up trash into small pieces and put it in the toilet so that's great to know because when our pipes are clogged you're gonna pay the bill oh no i've been here for quite a while i've never clogged up the yeah pipes. but is, you are <laughs> is, i'm the property major i've been here 12 years this is the very first time it's happened but look when i flush okay. the toilet are you I'm, home yeah i'm flushing it right now Okay, you never flush anything, and these are seventy-year-old pipes. Oh look, it's it's gonna over it's overflowing. Like when you I better turn the water off. Oh no, it's fine. Because uh, I'm I'm trying to flush it repeatedly. Because I figure if I just keep flushing, it's gonna eventually go down. Do you understand and, me, Robert? Yeah. What are you gonna flush down the toilet from now on? The Christmas tree. Because no. I've got to finish it. Like, I've got mostly just... No, you don't. You put it in the trash or in the dumpster. Uh, no, they, they... Like, I thought we couldn't have trees. Like, the, the real trees. No, you can't have real trees. That's why I'm flushing it. But I still have most of the... So why do you flush to trash? Um, because it's a long walk to the dumpster, man. 
Okay, you're just giving me ideas. Um, ideas? Yeah. What do you mean? When's your lease up? I don't know. Okay, so Robert, I need you not to flush that down the toilet. I need you not to flush anything down the toilet except for poop, pee, and toilet paper, and a, and a reasonable amount of toilet paper, about, not a whole bunch. What about condoms? I don't care. No, throw them away. I can't believe that you would even have a use for condoms. Oh, wow. Thanks. Yeah, I mean, because you're not, you're not talking like you're, are you, have you been drinking or something? No, I don't drink because at all. you're not talking like you're, you're thinking correctly. No, I don't drink at all. I'm just like, this, I, it saves money on trash bags and I don't have to walk to the no, dumpster. No, it doesn't because when we have to open up the drains in the basement, I'm charging you. No, I, I, I have people stand here listening to you with their mouths hanging open in, in awe that they can't believe that I, anybody would even think to do something like that. Well, I got to finish at least flushing the, the rest of this tree. No, you don't. You better stop. Because well, no, when I hit the flush button... Like it starts to go down like normal. Ma'am? I think she hung up. Ma'am? There it goes all over the floor again. Let me call them right back. Thanks for calling. Square, this is Carol. How can I help you? Hey, Carol. Um, do you guys have like maybe a saw that I could borrow? Because I have to cut the, the, the middle part of this tree up and, and my, the stuff I have won't cut through hey, it. Hey, Roy, what do you do for a living? Why? That's none of your business. Uh, yeah, it is. When you live here, it is. Oh, no. No, you you stay out of my personal business. Oh, well, when you apply for an apartment, you put it down there. Yeah, but um, I I didn't even, I wasn't okay. even honest so about that. So, how do you pay your rent? With, from my, from my employment. Yeah, but how do you pay it? Do you bring a check in? I, or what? do you pay it by uh, credit card? Shouldn't you have that in your computer? I'm not in front of my computer. Shouldn't you be able to tell me? I don't know. What I mean, if this, you should be able to tell me this. Because I don't think this is a resident. Yes, I am. I've lived here for over a year. When did you move in? I don't know. None of your business. Okay. Hello. Hello. Uh, I'm a tenant yeah. he here. Where? What? You tenant where? Oh, where did I reach? Like, you didn't even answer like a business. You're just like, oh. Can I help you, man? Yeah, I'm at Square Apartments. What, what's your apartment number? B203. How can I help you? Uh, I was trying to flush the Christmas tree down the toilet. Yeah. And I can't get it to go down, and the toilet won't flush properly. It's kind of so put the Christmas tree out of the toilet, shove it up your ass then. What? What the hell? Hello. 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 How, how are you doing? Fine, how are you doing? Pretty good. How are you? Who is this? I'm, I'm Roy. I'm a tenant here at the apartments. A tenant where? Um, at apartments. Jeez, bite my head off. Okay. Um, I was just wondering, like, I'm trying to flush my Christmas tree down the toilet, and it, like, the toilet's clogged up now. Oh, jeez. You don't, you don't flush Christmas trees down the toilet. Well, I do. But well, well, you do, but who do? You're not supposed to flush Christmas trees down the toilet. Yeah. Well, you know, I. I, I did my best. I, I was, you know, I was cutting it into smaller pieces and trying to flush the pieces. Well, and yeah, and here I'm gonna flush it. And it, it starts to flush, and then it, it just, um, it, yeah, the water goes up. It goes up over the edge and goes all over the floor. Well, I sure you you plumbed up the drain. You think? Yeah, I think. I don't know. Yeah, it, like I don't know about that. Well, we can't do anything about it today. You have to call a plumber. Yeah, well, no, I don't want to call a plumber. I was just hoping you might have advice. Well, that's your, I'm, your, you don't have to pay for that because that's your fault. That's negligence on your party. Well, um... You I, will have to pay our guy down to make it. No, I th I'm going to try and do it myself. Um, 
Okay. I'm, I'm just. If you have to have us, you have to pay. I'm, that's okay. that's negligent. You don't flush Christmas trees down the toilet. I'm sorry. No, it's fine to flush it down the toilet as long as you um, cut it into smaller pieces. No, it's never fine. It's not made to flush Christmas trees down toilets. I'm sorry, it's not fine. No, if I cut it into small pieces, it is. It don't matter how small pieces. A toilet is not made to take trees in the in the sewer line. Well, I I'm sorry. I throw trash down the toilet all the time, and it's it's fine. Well. You will have to you will have to pay for us to do it. Um, well, no, I'm gonna I'm gonna pull the toilet up off of the floor, and I'm just gonna bypass the toilet and flush everything down the hole in the floor. I'm just gonna pour water down if there. You, if you do any more damage, you you will be charged for it. I'm sorry. Well, no, I haven't done any damage. I just figured that. Oh might... yeah, you did. If you if you if you flush Christmas trees down the toilet, you do damage. But I just figure it might be good to like bypass the toilet. No, you won't be able to bypass the toilet. I'm sorry. That's what we have dumpsters for. I know, but if I just if I cut the pieces really small and I put them in the hole in the floor, it it's not it, it will plug up that drain. I guarantee you. No, I don't no, care how small you cut them up. No, I'm cutting them really small, and I'm dumping. I'll dump that a bucket of water. Don't flush that. I'm telling you right now. Do not flush those down the toilet. I'm telling you that. But I could just dump a what bucket. Unit are, what, what unit? I could what dump, unit are you in? I could dump a bucket of water on top of it, and it'll be like flushing. What what unit are you in? I'm in one oh uh two two oh two E. Well I'm telling you if you plug up the whole sewer line you will be paying for it or you'll be affected one no, or the it's, other. It's not, I am sorry. It's not gonna plug up the whole sewer line. That's dumb. You don't know what you're talking about. Oh yeah, well if you do you 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 will be paying for it. Well no, I'm not gonna plug up the whole sewer line. I'm I'm cutting it into small pieces. Put it in the dumpster. How many times do I have to tell you? Put it in the dumpster. But that's a big hassle to take it out. Out the door. It's a big hassle if you plug up the whole sewer line. I'm not going to plug I up the... I am sorry. Put it in the dumpster. I'm not going to plug up the whole sewer lines, though. I'm telling you, put it in the dumpster. Well, I might. Like, I might put the middle part in the dumpster, because I don't know if that'll, that part put will flush. Put the whole thing in the dumpster. I'm telling you, do not flush it down the toilet. I'm telling you. I'm just going to... Put it in the dumpster. I'm just going to flush the branches down the toilet, though. Don't flush anything down the toilet. I'm telling you right now. And the you're an E202? Yeah, and the ornaments and the lights. Okay. You put it in the dumpster. I'm not going to tell you again. Do not flush it down the toilet. If you do, you will be paying for the damages. I will let you know that right now. Put it in the dumpster. There's not going to be any damages because I'm going to remove the toilet. Put it in the dumpster. Please do what I say. Put it in the dumpster. But I'm going to remove the toilet, so it's not going to clog up the toilet. I'm telling you, put it in the dumpster. But what if I just bypass the toilet? It, it won't work. I'm telling you, I know plumbing. It won't work. Put it in the dumpster. But you probably never... Gee, money, this is crazy talking to you about something like this. This is absolutely crazy. Have you ever tried doing it this way, though? You know? Huh? Who's that in the background? Oh, he hung up. That one got really intense. And you know, it makes sense, really. Like, if your toilet ever clogs up, it's really easy to just remove those two bolts off of the floor and set the toilet aside and, you know, just put stuff straight down into the hole on the floor. If your toilet ever clogs up at home, everyone, that's what I would do. I would, just, like, just poop straight into that hole in the floor, dump a bucket of water down it, don't worry about all the methane gas slowly filling up your bathroom. That's not a big deal. Here, let me let me call him back, and I just have one more question. Hello. Hey, um, do you have a wrench I could borrow I, so I can get this toilet off the floor? No, I do not. I'm sorry. All right. Just thought I'd ask. Uh, it's worth a shot, I guess. Hi, Brad. First of all, I wanted to say that the uh, thing with the sovereign nation was really funny, and uh, I like laughed. A lot. So Why, thank you. Make sure you do that a lot more. Okay. Uh, I definitely want to go I see will. that, uh, you know, town hall meeting or whatever they were doing. That sounds pretty lousy. The other thing I wanted to say was that if you get your FBI file, it is like your entire lifetime, like investigations that you know, involved you or like where you were mentioned or like literally anything in the FBI or any other agency where like your name was like mentioned. If they can release it, like say they're like currently doing an investigation maybe they'll send right me now. a bunch of papers that like the text is all blacked out no. that'd be awesome they won't release that stuff but they have to release like literally every single time it mentions your name so i got stuff from the fbi the louisiana state police 
Um, nice. Utah State Police. That sounds like fun. A bunch of random stuff. Four really. years. I'm going to do that. Don't let me forget, everyone. Don't let me forget. It'll be awesome. I'm going to do it. Uh, I think you have to be 18. I mean, like, I mean, we're both over 18. I mean, I'm 18, but you're over 18. So, yeah, yeah. yeah I know. It seems like I'm very much over 18. So, it's going to, it would be pretty easy. Like, it takes like a bunch of months, though. So. Anyway, so if I'm you're patient. interested, that's can wait. Well, really easy. So, I'm going to wait four years do it to if do you it. You want to or not. Anyway, either way, I love your show. Cactus, cactus. Thanks. I think everybody listening should request their FBI file. It's fun reading. Hi, Brad. This is Hannah. Hey, um, Hannah. I've been listening to your show for like six years. Wow. Get and a life, it's my Hannah. first time calling in because I thought you were going to insult me if I called in. Yeah, I <laughs> but I just, um, just want to say I love your show and I've been introducing all my friends to it. I listen to it like every like night you have friends. before I go to bed, which is a little bit creepy. Sorry. But whatever. My cat likes it, so that's what matters. Yep. You have a cat. Just you join Patreon, friends. so that's exciting. But yeah, keep up the good work. Thanks. Mm-hmm. Thanks, Hannah. Bye. Sorry I insulted you a bunch. You were right. Brad. Yes. Uh, first time uh, caller, long time listener. Just okay. wanted to see if you're still going to do that Craigslist uh, ad where you call them up and say that you're not interested. Also, I do not know how with all this uh, Tesla tunnel digging stuff going on with the boring company that you can't do something with that. I mean, that just seems like it's a no-brainer. Okay. Anyways, thanks for taking my call. Cactus, cactus. Okay, right on that. Didn't I do the thing with uh, Craigslist saying I'm not interested? I know I did it at least once, but yeah, I should do a whole show of that if I haven't already. Hello, Brad. It's Micro Corgi on speakerphone because I have five places. Because you have what? In the most recent show you did, you were saying you don't know much about ghost terms. Well, I don't either, but I know some other fun stuff you could tell them. You should say you've seen some full body or partial apparitions. Yeah. Uh, maybe you a, could. A class three apparition. That's all I know is stuff from Ghostbusters. Say it looks like there's a demon or like a poltergeist throwing stuff around or there's ectoplasm on their head or something stupid. Yeah. Like people will eat this shit up. If they hear that there's somebody official saying it, you know what? they'll believe anything. The other night, uh, Sunday night, that's when Buster Casey does his show just a couple days ago. I was listening to his show and he was doing a bunch of stuff with ghosts. Like he had an apartment to rent. And he was telling everybody that the apartment was haunted and nobody lasted in it. People would move in and they just move right back out because of the ghosts and poltergeists and stuff. And hardly anybody was like, wow, you're full of crap. Like, I'm going to believe this. No, everybody had ghost stories to tell. They all completely believed it. It's kind of depressing, really. It's like believing in ghosts is an epidemic. I'm checking right now. It looks like Buster Casey's show is on his showreel. So I'm going to put a link to it in the show notes if you want to hear it. I only caught the last two hours of it, but there was a lot of ghost stuff in it, and everybody believes in ghosts, pretty much. Everybody on the entire planet, they believe in ghosts. Everyone should go listen to that. But it's making me think I need to do more ghost shows. You know, more shows where ghosts are involved, and I can get people to tell me their crazy ghost stories, and tell me how their kids can see ghosts, and their cats can see ghosts. I need to come up with some new ghost concepts. You could say Elvis. You could say they found Jimmy Hoffa in their picture and they need to go dig him up at that site and they could be worth a million dollars for the discovery. Yeah. I have no idea how long this voicemail is going, but it's probably going long. Way too long. So what the hell? Maybe that's just something to chew on for you. You can figure out some cool stuff to say to those people. Okay. They're all idiots anyway. Micro Corgi, away! Turn that volume down. He can't do that. But yeah, more ghost shows. It's got to happen. Hey, RV. Hey. I was listening to an episode of the Ron and Fez show, and I could have sworn you called in. In fact, it sounded a little something like this. Uh, here's Charles Manson. You're on the Ron and Fez show. This is Charles Manson. I'm part of a Wally Posse. <laughs> this is going crazy. Oh, yeah, it's huge. Okay, dude. That's got to be you. Nope. And why were you Charles Manson? It wasn't me. It really wasn't. That's just some other completely insane person. I never even heard of that show. Hey, Brad. Colonel Angus TSC again. Hello. Happy New Year. It's new you, new me. It's going to be a great year, Brad. I guess. I uh, have three things that I want to share with you that you should do this new year. Okay. You should live, you should love, and you should grip some butts, Brad. I was watching your live video streams. And, oh, Brad. You got some... I'm going to grip on you, Brad. <laughs> I'm gonna grip on you. That's me. Oh. 
Okay. Thanks for the voicemail. Hey, Brad. Laggy McStabby here. Hello. We need to hear some more, um, what's his name? I don't know. We hear more of, uh, what are you talking about? Sensei Doug. Oh, yeah. We also need to hear some more, uh, who's a good boy calls. All right. Rupert out. Rupert away. Okay. Thanks for the voicemails, everybody. That was the very last one. I hope everyone enjoyed today's show. I hope you enjoyed listening to me just get shit on all day by all those apartment people telling me what a huge idiot I am. And that one lady, she's like, oh, I don't know why you would ever need condoms. And trying to say something about what I do for a living. This is having a serious effect on my self-esteem, and it's all for you guys. I hope you appreciate it. Thank you, the Swedish models, and Brian W., Thunor, Buster Casey, and Todd Little for being the sponsors of today's show. If you'd like to be a sponsor, please do that by going to patreon.com slash phone losers or phone losers.com slash cactus. For $5 a month, you can have extra shows every week. And there's a gigantic archive of secret shows that you've never heard before that you can listen to. I updated my chart, by the way, on how many shows I've done this past year. If anyone gives a shit about this, I'm only bringing this up because I did 85 hobo sods this past year. And I guess eight of those were open to the public, but the rest of them were completely secret. You've never heard them before, unless you're cheating somehow. And the year before, I only did 55 hobo sods. So I've done most of the hobo sods in 2018. Hopefully I can do more of them this year. I gotta beat that 85. I am down two shows on the Snowplow show. Last year I did 97 Snowplow shows. This year I did a mere 95. I'm really slacking on those Snowplow shows. But I did 19 World of Prank Calls, 7 episodes of Brad's Cactus Shack, and 18 call-in shows. That's the shows where I have other people on with me and we take calls or I sit at the payphone and take payphone calls. 18 of those shows that I still haven't figured out a name for. I think I just need to stop doing those forever. Be sure to follow Phone Losers on Twitter, twitter.com slash phone losers, facebook.com slash phone losers. There's a Discord. Everyone should be on the Discord. It's linked in the show notes of every single episode on snowplowshow.com. Just scroll down to the section that says community, and there's a link to the PLA Discord and the PLA Reddit, the Facebook page. Join all of the things. They're really fun. They're really active. Well, I mean, the Reddit's not, but everything else is. Bye, everyone. I'll see you later this week for another episode of something. I pop out my rhymes faster than Pez. Ask Bill Gates and see what he says. I went to his office to borrow some pens. Um, why would you flush the Christmas tree down the toilet?